Question number seven, how should we interact with someone who has been disciplined? Certainly, I think family members of a disciplined individual should continue to fulfill biblical family obligations. The family is a different institution than the church, and the breaking of the family relation, uh, of the church relation, does not mean breaking of the family relation. Ordinarily, however, Paul says, with such a person, do not even eat. Uh, at the very least, this means not sharing the Lord's table with an individual. Our elders will often instruct our congregation that what it means, in addition, is that the tenor of our relationships with the disciplined individual should markedly change. Uh, interactions should not be characterized by casualness or, or in easy friendliness, but by deliberate conversations about repentance. We do hope, of course, the individual continues to come to our public meetings on Sunday mornings to hear the gospel preached. There's no place we'd rather them be than sitting under the preached word. Nonetheless, that they are instructed they're to receive the Lord's table or to consider themselves as members. We're not extending the hand of fellowship to them.